On the first Sunday of Lent, we find Jesus confronted by the devil in the desert with a number of temptations. And so what does that teach us? I think it teaches us something of how we are to confront temptations in our own lives. Jesus always answers the devil by turning back to the scriptures. He uses the word of God to confront the temptation and to give him the strength, the, if you like to call it, ammunition against the devil, and to give him the strength and the inspiration to work against the temptation. St. Ignatius Loyola always tells us to move in the opposite spirit. When we're tempted in one direction, we should deliberately make the move to, to make decisions that will lead us in the opposite direction. And so when Jesus turns to the word of God, um, he's teaching us that God's word always has an answer for us in time of temptation. Even if it's as simple as trust in me, I will provide for you and I will be looking after you. And we can, we can hear all those promises in the gospel. We can even find many of them in the Old Testament. And so when Jesus has to answer the devil, he uses the word of God to do so. Now, what does that mean for us? It means that we need to know the word of God ourselves. We need to be familiar with it. We need to have it available to us in our lives. And the only way that that will happen is if we are regularly reading and reflecting upon the scriptures, even to the point of you know, getting a Bible commentary and finding out what the scholars are saying about the particular text that we are reading. It means putting in the effort to get to know God's word, to get to know the person of Jesus, because that's what our faith is all about. Knowing that we are in a personal relationship with Jesus and thus able to always be able to answer the devil when he tempts us, to answer just our general day-to-day -day situations when they come and provide us with temptation as well. It's really important that we know God's word that we are reflecting upon it, meditating upon it, and allowing it to form our hearts in the mind of God. The fathers of the desert, so they, the same desert into which Jesus went, were, would tell us that we need to till the soil of our hearts with the gospel plow. In other words, as you watch a farmer till the soil, you see the, the soil turn over, the, the bit that is down deep is brought up to the air, the humus that is there is dug into the soil to provide nutrients for the next crop. That's what the Word of God does for our lives. It provides us with the basis by which we can live, we can fight temptation, we can embrace the gifts that God has given us, we can live fully the gospel life that God calls us to live.